Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in to The Piano Shed. I'm Jeff, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to play a piano arrangement of Auld Lang Syne. Our arrangement is going to sound something like this. Okay, so we're going to take this one measure at a time. We'll kind of learn hands together on this one. Uh, so very uh, at the very top, we start with a pickup note, middle C. So that's going to be our first measure. So we have our pickup note C, and then we're going to land on this F chord. So that's F in the left hand, A, C, and F in the right. And then we go down to a single note E. And then we play the F chord again. And then on the last beat of that measure, we're going to play an A. So that first measure again is. And notice how when I play my F chord the second time, I'm also repeating the bass note F. OK, on to measure number two. So we're going to start off with a C chord, C in the left, C, E, G in the right. And then we're just going to play a single note F. And then we're going to go to a C sharp diminished chord, which is a C sharp in the left and a C sharp E, G in the right. And then we're going to hang on to those bottom three notes while we play an A, G. So that measure is going to be... Moving on to measure number three. So that measure starts off with a D minor chord. That's a D in the left, A, D, F in the right. We're going to play that all together, and then we're going to play a single note, F. Move up to an F7 chord. That's F in the left, C, E flat, A in the right. A C in the right hand. So that whole measure is D minor, F7, and to the fourth measure, so our first chord is a B flat major triad, it's a B flat in the left, F B flat D in the right. And then we're going to actually hang on to this D. We're not going to press it again, but we're going to change our bottom four notes. So we're going to go to a B natural, F, A flat, and B natural. But we're going to hang on to that D. So check out that move. So B flat triad. And notice how my D stayed. And then to finish that measure off, we're going to hit the D again. So that measure one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, and that's the first half. So let's take it from the very beginning, nice and slow, together. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Okay, so I want you to make sure you have those first four measures down before we continue to the second half of the tune. So pause, rewind as you need, and then meet me back here. We're going to learn the second half. And the second half is also four measures, so let's try that first measure of the second half. Okay, so that starts on an F chord, but we have a C in the bass. C in the left, F, A, C in the right. And then we're just going to play a single A. Move down to a D minor 7 chord. That's D in the left. 
C, F, A in the right. And then a single F. So that measure, F chord over C, D minor seven, F. One more time. Let's move on to the next measure. So we start off on a G minor triad, G in the left, B flat, D, G in the right. Then we play our single note F. We're gonna get to this chord, nice juicy one. This is C7 flat nine. C in the left, B flat in the right, D flat, E, G. This is hard for your hand to reach. You can eliminate this D flat, which is the flat nine. You can play it as a regular C7, which sounds great. Um, I like to put the flat nine in though. And then after that chord, we're gonna play single notes, A, G. So that measure is G minor, single note F, C7 flat nine, and then single note A, G. Next measure. So it's going to be a B flat triad in root position, B flat in the left, B flat, D, F in the right. And we go to a single note D, C7, to C in the left, E, B flat, D in the right. We're going to hang on to these two notes of the C7 and while we switch to a C up top. So that's going to be like this. And that measure again, B flat, single note D, C7, and then hang on to the lower two while you switch to a C. And then our final measure, it's an F chord, F in the left, A, C, F in the right, and we're going to hang on to our outer two notes while we move these inner notes. So that moves from an A to a C to a B flat and D, and back to an A and C. Notice how I'm hanging on to those outer notes. So let's try that last line, nice and slow. Right, great work. Let's try the whole thing a little bit faster to finish up. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, Excellent work, everyone. You just learned Auld Lang Syne. If you're still having some trouble with that or if you want to really perfect it, you can check out the sheet music that I made. I made sheet music of this exact arrangement. It's available over at scribed.com for the very low price of 99 cents. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can click on the link that I've put in the description of this video. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to The Piano Shed and check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jeff, and I'll see you guys at the next lesson.